Dear people of God, welcome to the Liturgy of the Word, fourth week of Lent, Saturday. And so let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah The Lord revealed it to me. I was warned. O Lord, that was when you opened my eyes to their scheming. I, for my part, was like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let us destroy the tree in its strength. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, the Lord of hosts, who pronounce a just sentence, who probe the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them for I have committed my cause to you. The Word of the Lord Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuer, save me and rescue me, lest he tear me to pieces like a lion and drag me off with no one to rescue me. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Give judgment for me, Lord. I am just and innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked. Make the just stand firm. You who test mind and heart. O oh, just God. Lord God, I take refuge in you. God is the shield that protects me who saves the upright of heart. God is a just judge, slow to anger, but he threatens the wicked every day. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. I take pleasure, not in the death of a wicked man, it is the Lord who speaks, but in the turning back of a wicked man, who changes his ways to win life. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Several people who had been listening to Jesus said, Surely he must be the prophet. And some said, He is the Christ. But others said, Would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not Scripture say that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem? So the people could not agree about him. Some would have liked to arrest him, but no one actually laid hands on him. The police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who said to them, Why haven't you brought him? The police replied, There has never been anybody who has spoken like him. So. The Pharisees answered, You have been led astray as well? Have any of the authorities believed him? Any of the Pharisees? This rebel knows nothing about the law. They are damned. One of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, But surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about? To this day answered, Are you a Galilean too? Go into the matter and see for yourself. Prophets do not come out of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord Brothers and sisters, What do I see in the picture before me? Do I see a frog or a horse? Whatever I choose to see 
will determine the way I will look at life and people through my individual lens, based on my life experiences, family backgrounds and beliefs. Even though Jesus as God's anointed one performed many miracles, healings and exorcism before their very eyes, yet people were divided in their opinions about Jesus, as some saw him as a prophet, some as the Christ, and even the temple officials who went out to arrest Jesus were astounded by the very words that came forth from the mouth of Jesus. The popularity among the people did not sit well with the Pharisees because Jesus came across as a threat to their status and position as religious leaders. As such, their hatred and jealousy towards Jesus clouded their judgment and they became more and more determined to get rid of Jesus. Even though they heard positive feedbacks regarding Jesus, but their stubbornness of heart made them stand their ground to condemn Jesus and in the same breath ignore the reactions of the common people, including Nicodemus, as ignorant and not well versed in scriptures. How do I perceive people and situations through my individual lens at this point of time? The simple wisdom of St. Teresa of Kokota, if you judge people, you have no time to love them. In the encounter of the blind man at Jericho in Luke chapter 18 verse 41, Jesus asked him this question, What do you want me to do for you? And he replied, Lord, I want to see. The reality is that as people of the fallen nature, each one of us carry within our hearts our own past histories, hurts and baggages that can weigh us down and prevent us from seeing the good within us and the good of the people around us. Our starting point here is that we do not become judgmental towards a particular individual, but to be open to take the person as to where he or she is coming from. Here Jesus is ready to heal us of our past hurts, bad memories and baggages, so that we can experience healing and liberation within our hearts and see people and situation through the eyes of Jesus. The simple fact is, we cannot give what we do not have within us. For example, when our hearts are filled with love and positive energies, then people who meet us are going to experience the love and positive energy from our very being. This week, we focus on the virtue of Joseph as a tender witness. While Joseph seemed anonymous in the scriptures, but he actively lived and witnessed his faith in the way he cooperated with God's plan of salvation as a guardian to Jesus and husband to Mary. His tender witness of being available and open to God's plan can be a source of inspiration to do our little bit in small as well as big ways, especially here in St. Mary of the Angels, so as to bring glory to God's name and more importantly, without expecting anything in return. Let us turn to the Lord during this season of length and invite Him to remove the baggages and past burdens within us so that our lenses will become clearer and brighter to focus on the wonder, beauty and goodness in the people and the situations around us. Amen. We are created in the image and likeness of God. We are blessed by God and we share His very divine life. And so we take this opportunity to pray in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace that helped by the consolation of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our very lives. Thanks be to God.